Welcome back to uh, Snail Week. This is a story that is especially for Rainbow Class, but Sunshine Class, you are more than welcome to listen and join in as well. So I've got my little friend, the snail, back in the jar, but I will take it out again so that you can see the snail and you can see the antennae and the snail shell, the spiral pattern on the shell. And there is the little snail there, can you see? Having a good look around at all the things that are happening while we're going to be telling the story today. And the other day we did some different words when we had a little teddy and we had a box and we put the teddy in different positions. And this snail in the story is going to go up a hill, it's going to go through a tunnel, is going to go into a forest, it's going to go over a bridge, it's going to go down a slope, up into an arch, past some pretty flowers, and then inside a cave where he's going to go fast asleep. Having a good look around, isn't he? So I'm going to read you, so I'm going to put him very carefully back in my jar with the lid on so he doesn't run away and escape into my lounge and then I'm going to read you a story about a snail trail. Let's put him back carefully on the leaf, put the lid on and then we'll have a look at the book today called Snail Trail by Ruth Brown. Snail Trail and look same spiral pattern on the snail's shell and the same antennae that you just saw on my snail that I found in my garden. So let's see what happens in this story, Snail Trail by Ruth Brown. There's the snail starting to go over the stalk of the flower. Let's start. A slimy snail out on a trail, one bright and sunny morning. He went up a hill. It was very steep. He was climbing up the hill. Through a tunnel, very gloomy. Into a forest, very quiet. He's peeking behind the trees in the forest. Over a bridge, very high. You see him climbing over the bridge. I think he's climbing over a leaf that's arched in the shape of a bridge. And down a slope, very slippery. Up to an arch, very narrow. Look, he's finding it hard to squeeze through the gap. In the arch, it's very narrow. Past some very pretty flowers. And into a dark, dark cave. He curled up in his shell, very small. was soon fast asleep. So that's the story of the snail's trail, the journey that the snail went on when he went on his little adventure with his spiral shell and his antennae looking where he was going. Let's have a see how the snail is getting on. 
It's just climbing to the top of the jar now. Can you see? So I think my snail is up, going up the jar. And I think when he gets to the top, he might go over the top of the jar. And then he will be sitting next to my jar. At the moment, he's inside my jar. I'll have to keep a very close eye on him to make sure that he's kept safe. And I think I will go and put him back outside now in my garden so that he can go for a longer walk and go and investigate all the different things that are outside. Right, I hope you can find some snails outside in your garden this week and look at the spiral pattern on the shells and see where your snail has been on the benches around your garden. I will speak to you soon.